Hello. Oh, bye, Goop. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I was actually going to do an introduction at home, but I never had the chance because my family wouldn't leave me alone. But hey, we're going to LFCC. We actually have a really nice movie room. So I hope Selma heard that. Love Selma. It is 36 degrees right now in London. We're going to London Film and Comic Con. I probably should have said that first. This is my LFCC vlog. This is going to be really fun to edit because I'm a crackhead. To be H. Um, we got in at about four. I feel like I'm kind of tilted. I am. Oh well. Got in at about four. I want to say, no, it wasn't about four. It was later than four. Maybe half, we got here at half four, let's say. And we're just going to sit for a bit. And Goob is unpacking. And I'm vlogging. And I'm not going to unpack because I'm only here for like two days. So I don't see the point. And then we're going to go out. And I'm going to get my Tom Felton diamond pass because I love my mans. And then we're probably going to get some food and drink because we are broke bitches. So we are slumming at this con. We're not going to eat out every day. Oh, no. No. We're going to be waifus and live together for the weekend. Just get meal deals for each mm. night and spend the rest on pictures at Wednesdays. It would be, you don't even have to get a meal deal. It would be cheaper if we got like... Something to like a pizza or something to share between us because I mean she said we can use We have a kitchen. We can get like a pizza to share between us and then like a, a big bottle of something like pizza, like a bottle or something, get like snacks like Doritos, like a few that we can just eat. I wouldn't need to eat that much because travel makes me feel ill. But yeah, so I'm gonna vlog this con. I always say that I'm gonna vlog, but I'm actually gonna vlog tomorrow. Because I'm only cosplaying for like two hours. And then the rest of the time I'm going to try and get some content. Oh, that was bad. I just swore at the camera. <laughs> Use it, you know, kid-friendly. Teehee, hat me. Also, yeah, my hair is red now. I don't know if it shows up very red on the camera. Because my white balance likes to play me. But it's red now. In my last vlog, I was blonde. What up, lads? Um, Goob and I have decided that we're going to go and get the tickets. Because she has to get her, well, she can get her three-day pass thingies now rather than later so that we can just chill for the rest of the night and we'll also go on an adventure to Tesco if that's fun my eyebrows are so bad right now, can you? I'm angry but yeah I'm gonna go put my Dr Pepper in the fridge oh, um, quick room tour this is our mirror we have some mugs and some cacti that's our bed a lamp those are my bags this is the makeup area and that is our wardrobe. We have some nice pictures. Do good, you can get the door for me. I hear people talking. I'd assume that one's the fridge. Does that look like a fridge? Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Nice. No. Yeah, I'm just gonna wipe my drink up there. Yeah, when she said that, I assumed it would be empty. We've got abuse on camera. <laughs> Story time. Child abuse. I am an adult. You're right a child now. I might just leave my shirt tucked out, you know. Baby. I'm baby. You're a baby. I'm gonna put some more deodorant You're on my baby of Instagram. I am and it's so Right, so we're gonna go then. Oh I have a mosquito bite on my elbow. Do you see that? Wow. But yeah, we're gonna go and do some stuff. We I didn't vlog while we were out because um, it started raining really badly, like so badly that my hair like, because I dyed my hair recently, it's like leaked, well not leaked, R run, ran down the back of my shirt so that's fun. But, got my diamond pass BB, look at him, he is the cutest, love him so much. But yeah, and then we went to, te oh, and then we went to Tesco and got some stuff and then it started raining so fun times and that was a bit of thunder but then it stopped 
but I'm assuming that means it's going to be thunnery more tonight. Fun. But yeah, we're probably not really going to do anything tonight because we're exhausted now and hot and sweaty. But, yeah. Hi homosexuals, it's me! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how... So, we're going to con. I am Draco Malfoy. I'm not wearing any shoes because this is a no-shoe building. Um, Goob is over there. Goob is doing... Are you doing like a casual layer? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, because she doesn't wear jeans. That would be stupid. Yeah, yeah. And I've got one earring in because Draco is the gay. The gay. I don't know which ear it is though, so it's just that one. My wig is shit, but we do not care. I'm going to be hot, but we're only going to be there for a couple of hours. So we go in. Whee! See you at the corn. I love my little gun. I love your gun as well. It's such a cute little pig gun. It's really cute. It's not like... Oh my god, my wives have left me. Come back. My baby! My baby! Gorgeous. I have a gun. Well, she has a gun. <laughs> Shoot me. But um, we're on our way. We left Con, so I could come back and get changed. And Goob has changed her cosplay. And now we're on our way back. And I'm gonna get my Tom Felton autograph. I'm very excited. Um, you can't wait. My turn. There's Kermit. He's coming too. Cause you know I spent eight pounds on him. And Goob taught me too. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Bye. I'm trying really hard not to fall down the stairs right now. Bye. Hi everyone! Um, I just got out of my autograph with Tom Felton and like, I'm very like shaky, like very close to crying. <laughs> that man just kept like staring at me as I was walking, he's like looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing bitch? <laughs> I mean this is most, this is very common though. Yeah, like, so, like, why I'm is it the, surprising? I was like shaking the entire like way in the queue, like, I thought I was honestly gonna throw up, like that's how nervous I was and he was the cutest and like, I'm probably gonna wait until later to like, 
do my little story time about, you know, my autograph Tom, so that I can talk about my photo shoot with him as well. And Goob's already heard me say it like twice because I'm just like repeating myself as how nervous I am. But Tom Felton is a fucking angel and I would die for that man, to be honest. Um, you know, love my life, love him. But now Goob and I are just gonna sit for a bit, I think, or we're gonna go somewhere, I don't really know. But I am so anxious, I'm also so happy because if you know me, you know how much I love Tom Felton and how much I love Joker Malfoy. And, okay, but yeah. So that was a fun experience and hopefully I'll calm down before my photo shoot with him later and I'm gonna try and hug him. That's gonna be my goal for the photo shoot, like, or at least have his arm, arm around me. But yeah, so I don't know where to move my camera. But yeah, there we go. I'll vlog later, but that's that for now, so bye. It's Josh. <laughs> it's Josh. It's Josh. Hi everyone, me again. So we're back from the con now. Um, I haven't really vlogged like a lot of like actual content this weekend other than like going around the con but um it was <clears throat> I don't want to like slander them because like it's a really good convention to be honest like it's quite nice they've got really good guests and all that jazz but I don't know but it was like they had a great time and like I got to meet Tom Felton and I got his autograph and I got to like have a photo with him but like no tea no shade the um photograph queue was like really unorganized so, you know, that was fun. But, yeah, I'm going to put photos, like, of my autograph and my photo in, like, a video, probably. But Goob and I have just attempted to order McDonald's Uber Eats, bearing in mind we don't know the actual address of our, like, flat thingy. Like, we don't know how to put it in. So I've written the man a really detailed description of where the building is in the delivery note, and I'm hoping he can find us. But yeah, so I'm probably going to start like packing my stuff just so I can have it ready and not have to worry about it for tomorrow. But maybe, um, I'll probably film like, a little outro or do a little haul of what I got. I can put my fo like photos of my, my photo, no, show my photo and my autograph in the little haul if I do one. But that'll be fun. But for now I'm just going to go and relax because I'm tired. Um, hello, here's a quick haul video of all, you know, because I've got everything out at the moment. So first of all, I have Kermit. Kermit was eight pounds, which is quite great because um, I was looking at him and I was like, the man was talking to us. We were making like to talk about Kermit law, and I was like, how much is Kermit? And the man looked at him like, to try and find a price. And he was like, oh, I'll say eight pounds, which I think was the same price as like a Fozzie. Yeah. So he was like, yeah, eight pounds, and I was like, shit, okay, that's a good deal for this big boy. Love of my life. Yeah, so then if it was like new, you'd probably pay like twenty five. Yeah, he's a minimum. big man. He's Worth more than eight quid, to be honest. Um, and then, so like LFCC, like, because I got a diamond pass for Tom Felton, they do like these little gift things. I don't know if you can see that, but like, it's a little metal flask, and then it's like got polyjuice potion, like, inscripted on it, engraved? Engraved. Yeah, engraved. Engraved on it. So that's cute. Very small. Could probably not hold a lot of alcohol, sadly. And then they also provide, like, gave out a little fan. Very small, doesn't actually do a lot, but like, you know, it's cute and like, it's nice that they thought about that. Ba, 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 ba. And then I got this baby. Can it focus on him? I'm gonna use my nose to focus. I don't know if it will. My camera doesn't really like to focus, TBH. But yeah, here's my baby. He's very blurry. But he was only two quid, which I thought was quite good from like a Lego figure because sometimes they're I think in like empty games they're like five quid but he was only two pounds so you know love of my life he's very cute he's got his little quidditch jumper and his little broomstick the lady was really nice as well to be honest I also got um a Loki ring five pounds oh I got Captain America earrings I don't know where they are oh they're over there I'll show those in a second I guess yeah got a Loki ring quite cute I really like the place that I got it from one of the other things I got was, it's a bit of a mess, but it's like an infinity gauntlet kind of bracelet. So like there's a, it's not the right colour, so for some reason the, that I think that's the time stone, is in the middle. Like, and then all the others are like rings. But it's really cute, you know, I just wish they'd been accurate. And then as I was saying, like LFCC gave like, um, gifts, so this was a bag that they gave, and like you got to choose 
and I didn't know which one to choose, so I went with that one because Google told me to. Next thing, I got some Captain America earrings because I used to have some, but then they broke and I want new ones. So I got these ones. I think they're cute as well. They're from the same lady as the Loki earring. And then obviously there's my Tom Felton autograph. He was really cute, and um, I'm going to film a bit later of me like like of like my experience meeting Tom, and. I love him, he's such a babe, he's honestly such a sweetheart, and I cried, I didn't, I'll cry later, I won't cry in front of anyone because I'm not a pussy, but he's so cute and I love him, my gorgeous boy, and then I'm really annoyed because like the way the light was shining kind of makes it look like I'm missing like a chunk of my eyebrow, but here's me and my boy, and he had his arm around me, and I had my arm around him, so it was really cute, and he's a sweetheart. But I'm really glad that I got to meet him, because I just love him a lot. And I hope I can meet him again one day, to be honest. Mwah. Good boy. But that's, I think that's all I bought. I don't think I bought anything else. But yeah, that's my little haul. Oop. I don't like the lighting, because my face looks very blue. Can you see that? Look at how blue I am. I look like a fucking smurf. Right then, I'm gonna film this bit and then I'm gonna just repeat the story on like my Instagram. But you know, I need vlog content. So here's the story of me meeting Tom Felton. So I was in the um, I'm gonna mention this because it just pissed me off. So I went like so, Gilbert and I went back to the Airbnb to get changed and shit. And then we went back, and I was like, I really want to get my autograph now, like, so I can make sure that I get it, you know, all that jazz. And we went to the queue, and I was like, hello, is this the queue for the... Actually, no. We were, like, trying to find the queue for, like, five minutes. And I, the man told me, this man told me to go to this lady. So I went to this lady, and I was like, hello, is this the queue for Tom Felton's Diamond Pass? And she was like, oh, yeah, but, like, the queue's closed at the moment, so, like, if you want to come back in, like, ten minutes, then, like, we can, like, you know, we'll see what it's like then. So I was like, oh, okay, fair enough. Left for like 10 minutes, went back, and the queue was even bigger than when, when I'd gone before. Which was a bit of a fucking piss take, to be honest. Like, queue closed who? So I queued up, and I was like, this lady, the, the same lady comes up to me, and she's like, have you got a pass? And I was like, yeah, I've got a diamond pass. And like, the whole queue at, like up to me was diamond passes and shit. So like, obviously they didn't really think about how many people like had bought the diamond passes and all that jazz. But yeah. So queuing was a bit of a hassle. And behind me, th there was this man. And like, I think he had a diamond pass. But he had like a photo shoot with someone at three, I think. And like, I don't know, he was, like had to get his autograph then for some reason. Even though Tom was doing autographs until like 5pm. But he had, you know, he had to get his like autograph then. And he was grumbling behind me in the queue the entire time. It was really fucking annoying. Like, he was grumbling to me, and I was, like, awkwardly just texting Google on my phone, like, Ah! I see him! And just being, you know, big fan. And, like, at one point, there was, like, I think someone got let into a queue that he'd wanted to be in, and he was like, Why Why is she allowed there? Ugh! And then, like, groaning, and I was like, Fuck off, like, you're a grown-ass man, you're, like, twice my height. And not, like, only that, but, like, he kept trying to push in front of me, kind of. So, like, the queue would move, and he would step beside me, and, like, try and move forward, and I would, like, you know, slide into that little gap and like no like I'm in front but he just kept moving next to me and I'm like we are not together like can you get out of my way which was annoying and then I got to the front of the queue and like obviously it was really loud and shit because of all the people there and the lady was like oh what have you like what pass have you got and I was like oh I have a diamond pass like quite loudly because like you know I work in a cafe I, it's a fucking pain when customers are so quiet that you can't hear what they're saying so like, you know, quite loud, and she was like, oh my god, I like you, like, you're loud, and I was like, yes I am, I know the struggle, hun. And then she asked me where I got my, um, she was like, asking about my, um, shirt, because I was wearing, like, a Slytherin flannel shirt, and she was like, is that Slytherin plaid? And I was like, yeah, it is, I got it from Primark, and then we were talking about Primark and their Harry Potter range. Um, I want a sponsor from Primark, to be honest, for that advertisement. And then she was, like, really nice, and she was, like, telling me what to do, so I gave the thing to the man, and then... Like, he checked my diamond pass and, like, stampede it, and then he, like, gave me back my thing, and I was, like, really awkward, like, and I was still holding onto the photo, and the man kind of, like, gently took it out of my hands and put it on the table. 
<laughs> he was like, hmm, and I was like, oh, haha, lol, I don't know what I'm doing. And then I, sl um, you know, slid to the right, and there was Tom Felton. And I was like, hiya, and he was like, hello, darling, like, are you alright? And then he, like, he put his hand up for, like, a, for a high five, and I went to high five him, and he suddenly like, held my hand, and I was <laughs> crying. I was like quaking, I was like, oh my god, I'm fine, thank you, like, how are you? And he's like, yeah, I'm good, not too bad, and then, like, because, um, when you're getting the autographs, like, what they do is, like, while you're in the queue, you get to a certain point where they're, like, they kind of, like, write what pass you've got on, like, a little post-it note and stick it to your badge. And then they're like, do you want your autograph personalised? And you can be like, yeah, and then they'll write your name down so, like, Tom knows how to spell it. And then, like, he was reading, like, the little post-it note where they put my name. He went, I can't remember. I think he said Kana or Kana. And I went, no, Kana. And he was like, oh, I was bound to balls that one up, wasn't I? And I was like, oh, my God, no, it's okay. Like, everyone does it. Like, you know, even some of my friends still pronounce my name wrong. And I was like, no, it's okay. Like, you know, love you lots, babes. You pronounce my name however you want. I will legally change it to that pronunciation. <laughs> Oh, I just love him. He makes me so happy. And then he like was writing it and then he signed it and he was like, is that all right, darling? And I was like, it's fine. Thank you so much. And he was like, it's all right. You have a nice day. And I was like, you have a good day too. And then I walked away and then I cried to Goob. And it was a fun day. Until my photo shoot. So I'm about to like, you know, no tea, no shade. I'm about to slander LFCC for their organization. I won't blame like the crew members because it's obviously not their fault, but like, they could have, like, the event could have been organised a little bit better. But, so basically, it's all crammed, like, all the photo, like, the photo areas, like, kind of crammed into the same space, but, like, I don't know, it's like they've put, like, fucking Tetris discs, so, like, they haven't put all, like, so it slots together, they just put it in, like, the, like, random places. Like, I was saying to Goop after I got my photos, like, there was this massive space where they could have put a photo shoot, and, like, you know, people would have been able to queue properly. But instead, they put them all in like the same kind of area. And there was literally, it was like, you know when like you're in primary school and they have like all those little like paint kind of games on the floor and they put like the little kind of white layout of like, you know, like a racetrack kind of, I don't know how to describe it. I'm just vividly remembering my one from primary school. So it was like a little kind of like white rectangle with like three lines, you know. It was basically just like that. Like it was literally just like, taped onto the floor like there was no proper queue and everyone was just stood in a circle around it and like the lady was like oh bless her she was trying her best but like she was too quiet so like, kind of shout it out and she was like trying to call the batches and like if you're in batch one you went and stood in like the little grid and then batch two and then batch three etc etc but it wasn't really well organized and like it was so rushed like it was literally like a fucking carousel like as soon as you put your bags down by the time that you've gotten to your photo your bag is already at like the fucking other end, like that's how quick it is. <laughs> Stripping in my live stream. <laughs> well, it's not it even a live stream. You. But um, yeah. So it wasn't really well organized, and I didn't really get to spend a lot of time with him. So I was kind of like, oh, went, hello, and then he was like, hi, darling, and I quickly put my arm around him. And I was so anxious that my tw like my cheek is twitching. Well, it was twitching, and like my cheekbone looks really good in my photo, but that's because my cheek was fucking twitching. Like that's the only reason it's good, to be honest. Like. Cheekbones who? Don't know her. But yeah, so that was fun and then I left and then I was sad because I missed Tom Felton. Go get out of my shop. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, and now I'm gonna probably tell the same story on my Instagram because I can't be bothered to like, you know, tell my friends to wait until my fucking vlog comes out because I mean it's taking me like two months, wait, May, June, yeah, two months to do my London MCM vlog, like, I'm still editing that. That's a process. I'm having a great time doing that. But yeah, thriving. Love my life. I love Tom Felton a lot. Um, I want him to notice me because he and I are like, you know, we look really cute together in our photo. As you probably have seen, or you might see, depending on how I edit this video and what I put in, like when. But yeah, so I'm gonna stop here for now. Um, I don't, I'm sorry this vlog's kind of shit, but like, I'm trying my best. You know, that's all I can do. But, you know, peace out. Good morning, everyone. It is my last, well, our last day in the B&B. My last day of, like, being in London. So I wanted to make a little, I don't know, outro. It, it's been pretty good. You know, I got what I wanted. Like, I only really came to, like, hang out with, like, some of my friends and, like, meet Tom Felton. And I achieved both of those. My bracelet is so cool, by the way. Like, 
and yeah, I'm kind of glad that I'm not going today, to be honest. Let's just say the queuing is not very organised. Like, I don't really know what they were trying to do with that. Like, it's such a shame, like, they have, like, the potential to be such a great convention, but it's really let down by, like, all of, like, the queuing and, like, the way it's organised. So I don't know if I'll go again. If I do, it'll be the same reason as this year, like, just because I want to go and meet a guest. And I'll only go for one day. But yeah, so, Uber's going to the convention today, and I'm probably going to sit outside for a bit and, like, I don't know, do nothing. And then going to try and get a train at, like, five to two. So I can get my coach at half three, because I don't know where I'm going and I'd rather not risk it and end up lost. But yeah. 